Greetings everyone. In this video we're going to uh, create a first person game uh, in Star Logo Nova. Uh, Star Logo Nova is a creation of MIT uh, and it is uh, very similar to Scratch. You can think of it as a three-dimensional version of the uh, Scratch program. Uh, so I urge you to go to slnova.org and register if you haven't done so. So I'm just going to log in because I've created a login before. Uh, so once you log in, uh, what you're going to notice is uh, a page comes up where you have your profile and I'm gonna show you what my profile looks like. I have a private gallery and I have some uh, public, uh, I have a public gallery where, where some of these uh, uh, creations are available for public to view. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new project and I'm gonna select a blank project and I submit. And the moment I do that, uh, you're going to notice that uh, you're going to see an environment uh, that is uh, quite similar to what you might be used if you have done uh, some scratch programming. And the environment has what is called Spaceland, where you have uh, a three-dimensional environment that we're going to create some things in it. And then uh, you have a region where you create your code. Uh, the world uh, is the creator uh, of the entire uh, program, if you wish. This is where we're going to create uh, our things. And let's get uh, to it. Uh, in this region, in, uh, in, in the code space, you see, you'll see some menu which tells us where each type of blocks are created, uh, are available for us. Uh, so I'm going to start with the interface uh, blocks where I want to say when the setup button is pushed and let me show you where the setup button is. If you go to the space line, you're going to realize there are some prefabricated buttons. One of them is called setup, which sort of initiates the whole thing. And then the forever button, think of it as an animation button, which we will use in a few minutes. So when the setup is uh, pushed, uh, what I like to do personally is first I like to create, I, I like to delete everything that was there before. Uh, I get that from the agents uh, blocks. And I also want to go to the environment set of blocks and I like to clear terrain. Sometimes you end up drawing things, etc. This is a nice initialization code. Then what I want to create is, uh, I want to create, and there are two create blocks. Uh, the first create block, I find it to be uh, quite uh, un unuseful. You, you, I never have a chance, uh, I never have a reason to use the first one. Uh, the second one is better because it has an inclusive uh, 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 feature here, which you could create many things and they're all included within the create uh, block. So what I want to do is I want to create one. Now, by default, uh, the, the, the objects, the characters in Star Logo Nova are called turtles. So what I want to do is uh, let's create one turtle and let's give it some features. Let us um, go to the traits. And the traits here are uh, so I'm going to set my, for example, uh, let's start by setting the shape. Uh, let's start creating a shape that is, let's create a built-in shape. Uh, I personally like here uh, a shape called the fireman. It reminds me of the uh, Mario character. So I'm going to create a character that is going to be able to move back and forth, up and down, etc. So I'm going to set my color. Uh, let's set up the color. Uh, the, the one misconception people have is they think that you can write here, the, for example, the word red. Uh, you have to actually select the block color block here. And I'm going to make uh, my character red. And I'm going to set the size to... And for the size, you can write, 
Uh, I'm gonna write uh, set the size initially to 10 so I can see it better. Okay, so let's see what this does. Uh, once you've created a simple code like this, and as you can see, everything is just blocks that fit into one another. Uh, you run the code, and once you run the code, you just press setup, and we're going to see our Mario-like characters. Uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm pressing Alt Option key uh, to rotate this into the third dimension. But uh, you can see the Mario like character created uh, with the specifications I gave. Okay. Now let us endow this character with some ability to move forward, backwards, etc. So to be able to do this, so the world created this character. And now I'm going to go to the turtle character and I'm going to give it some features. Uh, again, I start with the interface option. I say while forever is toggled, meaning when the animation button is toggled, what we want to do is we want to create uh, a, a, a conditions so when the user presses uh, the arrow keys, this character is going to move back and forth. So the way we do that is I put a... Uh, logic uh, key here I say if let's create one of them and we'll do a lot of copy paste uh, if the keyboard uh, so if the let's say if the up arrow is passed is, is if the up arrow key is held what I want to do is I want to go to movement. I want to move forward by, let's say, uh, uh, three units. Now let's give it a test. Let's test this if this is going to work. So I run the code again. I set up the button. I press the setup button. Now while I press the forever, nothing happens. But observe when I'm now pressing the forward key, uh, the character moves forward. When I press the back arrow key, nothing happens because I haven't programmed it yet, but you get the idea. So we're going to keep uh, doing this uh, again and again until all of the movements are defined. So I now go to logic again. And actually what you could do is you could... Uh, uh, actually, let's just do it from scratch so that we learn this process. Now, uh, if the... Uh, I go again to... Uh, To the keyboard if the back arrow is key is if the back arrow sorry if the down arrow is key is held I want to move backwards by three and let's create a few more so we can see uh, how this uh, will all play together uh, so I want to create a few more of these. Uh, let's actually create these here. One, two. I want to create. Uh, now, if the uh, sorry, uh, let me get one here, another one there. So if the right arrow is uh, pressed what I want and let me get another one of these uh, if the uh, left arrow is keys held uh, let's do some rotation when that happens so let's uh, turn right by for example 10 degrees and you could decide how many degrees you want to do these things so uh, here is rotate right by 10 degrees, left by 10 degrees. And I find from experience that it's also a good idea to have these move forward a little bit. Otherwise, it's just a plain rotation and it doesn't uh, really, uh, you can't detect the movement too well. So let's give it a try. It's important that you paste this at the end of these uh, keys. So each of these conditional blocks are separate okay so let's run the code and let's set up 
and let's press forever again nothing happens but now look what happens when I move the forward uh, key the character moves forward backward key uh, right key left key you see the character sort of responding to so you have uh, right now the option of moving the character forward now one of the amazing uh, features of Star Logo Nova is let's go back to the world uh, for this uh, while you when you create an object like the fireman we have created you could actually uh, have this agent take the camera so you could have a first person view of uh, this uh, uh, in, in this game that you're creating so let's run the code and let me show you what the effect is gonna be so when I press setup because the camera is given to the fireman I see the world through the eyes of the fireman or from his perspective so I go backwards forwards right left uh, as you can see uh, and so this is what's making this a first person game uh, I'm not terribly happy with the speed so let me just see if I can speed things up a little bit so maybe I'm gonna make forward by five, back uh, down backwards by five. Let's see if this is gonna speed things up a little bit. So run the code, set up uh, forever, forward faster, for backwards faster. Now when I press uh, right key, left key, I can see what's happening. Okay. Now uh, Star Logo Nova, as you noticed, uh, is a three-dimensional environment. So let us actually add two more conditionals which allow the character to go up and down. Um, so let's uh, do that. So if, uh, let's create two more if blocks, one after the other. Uh, let's go to keyboard. Now I'm gonna select uh, the keys A and Z if the key A is held and the key Z is held, these uh, letters uh, in your keyboard are right uh, one on top of the other. What I want the Mario character to do is move upwards and downwards. So let's do up and down. And let's have the character move up by five, down by five, and let's add that uh, to here and what you're gonna notice in a minute is that uh, your character now is going to be endowed when I press forever uh, I press now A I press now Z your character and by the way you could always reset the camera to have the bird's eye view so backwards forwards uh, right turn left turn etc but I can also now move upwards and downwards. If you go too far down, uh, let's have the agent view. You are in, you're below the plane, but I'm now going above the plane, etc. So your character now is endowed with all kinds of abilities to uh, move around uh, and up and down, etc. Okay. So this is the first part of uh, how to create an exciting 3D, 3D uh, first person game. Uh, in a minute we're going to create now uh, some characters uh, so that uh, our uh, hero can uh, interact with them. Uh, so we will pick up from there in a minute.